Hey, it's Kayak Cliff here. I'm here to tell you a story about how I got skunked. I mean, really skunked. No bueno. But first, if you like my videos, if you like videos about kayaking, hiking, biking, camping, anything outdoor related, also product reviews and tips, tricks, and pitfalls, which I'm about to just show you about how I got skunked. So now, on to the story. So it's August in North Texas, and I get a lot of biking done in the in the summer. Well, I get a lot of biking done all year. But in the summer, I go out in the evenings. Now, you can either go early morning or you can go in the evening, and you're going to get better weather. Um, so I left the house about 7.30 tonight, and that's usually when I leave, and I'll go into the dark and get back around 8.30, 8.45, 9 o'clock. Uh, so I put lights on the bike, so once it gets dark, I'm good. But one of the things, whether it's dawn or dusk, once it starts getting um, dark, the critters come out. And when you get back in the rural areas, I like to go back in the rural areas of town, all types of critters will cross the road in front of you. Everything from deer to fox to coyote to raccoons to uh, armadillos here in Texas and even skunks. It's happened a bunch to me. Well, running across the street, that's happened a bunch, but about a week ago on a Tuesday night, it's about 8.15, it's starting to get pretty dark. I got my headlights on. I'm going through a rural neighborhood and a skunk about 15 front feet in front of me runs out. It runs out, gets startled in front of my bike instead of continuing on. It throws up its tail and boom, it squirts me. And boy, can they squirt. They can squirt quite a distance. Um, because, you know, when I'm sitting up on the bike, my head, you know, is probably six feet above the ground, maybe six and a half feet. I felt moisture hit my legs, my arm, and my face. I mean, it got in my mustache, my beard, um, not my eyes, because I had glasses on, all over my watch, all over my phone. It was nasty. And when you're driving down the highway and you smell a skunk, it doesn't smell good, trust me. When it's on you, it's about 100 to 200 times that. So it was no bueno. So at any rate, I had my earbuds in. I called my wife real quick and I said, I said, please, if you could look up on the internet, I just got sprayed by a skunk. I know in the past you always hear about tomato juice. Uh, I think it's the acids in the tomato juice and maybe that works, but she looked for something that uh, was reported to work even better, which was my request, because I wanted to come inside that night. I don't want to be sleeping in my car. Um, she found a recipe and I'm putting it on screen here. It's um, hydrogen peroxide, a quart of hydrogen peroxide, and that's two bottles, just dump it in a bucket, and then a half cup of baking soda dump it in a bucket, and then a big squirt of Dawn or Pomalov or some other type of dish detergent to get some suds. Mix it all up, get an old washcloth that you don't mind that you can throw away because you're gonna wanna throw it away when you're done. And just outside, completely clean off. And I did that and I did it two or three times. So my skin was really dry after it, but I got admission inside the house that night and I didn't think I'd be able to, but I got to go to bed uh, in my own bed with my wife. So that was nice. And she has a, no a nose on her that she can smell anything. And she says she didn't smell me, so it really worked. Couple things that it did not work on immediately was my bike. Um, that still smelled the next day. Um, my watch band, my phone case, rubber, I guess it absorbed it. I cleaned it off with that, but I, it took a good week for the smell to kind of leave those. But as far as your skin, coat your whole body with this stuff. It works awesome. So thank you so much for watching and liking and the, subscribing to this channel. Safe adventuring out there. Get out there and paddle and hike and bike. Enjoy the great outdoors. God bless.